Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we are going to learn how we can create REST API requests in Jmeter and this is going to be very easy and very interesting and I will show you the entire process step by step from scratch and we are going to create a get post put delete APIs in Jmeter. So let's get started and I have my Jmeter up and running here and here we do not have anything in our test plan it is an empty test plan you can also click on this new button to create a new test plan and here I will do a right click and I will say add threads and I will add a thread group so here in this thread group I can manage the users the number of users that will run this request and ramp up period and loop count all this is for performance testing as of now I just want to create a request and run it so I will leave all this as it is and then I will go to Google and search for sample REST API for testing and here I will go to this website reqres.in here are some sample REST APIs that you can use for testing so we have all these get post put delete APIs I will go with list users first and this is the URL I will open it in a new tab so this is the URL of this REST web service now here to create a REST API in Jmeter either you can add some template so for example if you go to file you will see templates here or you will see a option for creating templates right here in the toolbar so you can go here and here you can find some samples that you can use for example you can use a sample to create a HTTP request and then we can grow over it or build over it but for now I will show you from scratch so I'm just going to this thread group that I have created and do a right click say add sampler and we are going to use HTTP request and here we have got this HTTP request now here is the name if you want you can change the name here so I will say this is get user list and now here you can see we have a basic section and a advanced section we need to work on the basic section as of now and here we have a protocol field then we have a server name or IP field a port number field then we have the HTTP request method so from here you can select your HTTP request method like get post put delete etc and this is the path field so now for this request this is the URL I'll copy the URL and here is the URL now here it has some parts different parts we have first the protocol which is HTTP so here is the HTTPS protocol which will come here in the protocol field then in the server name or IP we will just have this reqres.in and then the rest of the path will go in the path field here and then we also have parameters so here are the parameters and in the parameters we can give these parameters that is page equals to so in case you have any parameters in your URL you can give it there so let me now just put this HTTPS will come here and in case it is HTTP then you can leave it blank as well then in the server name or IP I will put this reqres.in this is just the domain name I will put it here and then HTTP request is get and the path is this forward slash APIs forward slash API forward slash users and then if I want I can also append the parameters along with the path but I will create the parameters here so I will go to parameters section and click on add and here I will give the parameter so the parameter name is page and the value is 2 and then we also have other options like URL encode, content type 
include equal etc which i will leave for now now in the next session i will also show you how you can actually record your api request in jmeter but for now i am going very basic now here in some of your requests you will also need to provide the request headers and for that you can go to the http request do a right click add and go to config element and say http header manager we also have http cookie manager cache manager request defaults so you can go to header manager and here because this header manager is added as a child of this request so it will work only for this request in case you want to use it for all the requests you can put it at the top of all the requests so here you can put your headers whatever request headers you want you can add it from here and put it here then in some request we may need to have authentication like adding username or password or oauth or any other kind of authentication in that case you can do a right click on your request add and when you go to uh, here config elements you will see http authorization manager so again this can be used for providing any kind of authorization to our apis now in this case i do not need this i do not need header and authorization so it will work without that as well now i have created my request uh, let me also show you the steps i have written some steps to save some time so we have already done this we have added a thread group right click on test plan add thread users and thread group right click on thread group add sampler http request and then add the api data in the http request sampler now step number four is add view results tree listener and we can also add a table listener so you can add any listeners you want to listeners are used to store and view the results so for that we will add the listeners i will do a right click on the thread group and say add and here we have a option for listeners so there are a lot of listeners what we will need here for now is view results tree i will add this now take care that view results tree is a a graphical listener it has some it takes some memory while running so when you are actually running from command line you can disable it you can right click and disable from here but it is very good to uh, check our results and make sure that everything is running fine so initially we add this and then i will also add a listener for getting results in table i will add view results in table so I have added these two listeners. I will now save my test plan. I can save it uh, at any location on my system. I will say this is jmeter rest api. Now I can run this. I will have to use this run button to run and I have gone to the view results tree listener to check the results and when I run this you can see I have got a single result for get user list API and here I have got the sampler result and you can see it gives me all the information start time load time connect time latency size in bytes sent in bytes and then here if you see the response code is 200 ok which is fine and if i go to the request here so this shows me the request that went to the server this was the request that went to the server so sometimes if you face any issues you can always go to the request and check what is the actual request that went to the server there can be some mistakes like forward slash colon or some issue somewhere so you can always check this so you can also see it has taken the parameter and it has created a proper url which has gone to the server so here then you can see the request body request headers here so these are the request headers then in the response data you can see the response body which gives us the list of users and the response headers here so all these are our response headers 
and then if you want to find something you can always find from here and then if you do a right click here let me see if I'm getting other options no that is fine I do not have more options here so this is what how you run a get request now of course if you want to run with a user load you can always increase the number of users here set the ramp up period uh, then set the loop count if you want how many loops you want all this you can set for example if I say 10 users and now if I go you can also see view results table here I have uh, the results in a table format where I get the start time uh, the label the sample time this is the time taken the status bytes latency connect time so now I have set to 10 users I will save and clear all the results and run it again and now you can see it is running with 10 user load and all this you can see the time taken and status and the same thing you will see in view results tree as well so this was a very simple get request now let us see a post request and post is for creating a resource I will click to click on this post create and this is the endpoint. I will go here in a new tab and this is the URL of the request. I will copy this and I am going to create a new sampler HTTP request and here I will name this as create user and then I will give the URL here and as we know we have to keep the HTTPS in the protocol field and then here it will only be the server name or IP and make sure you do not even have any forward slash or columns here and then the rest of the path will come in the path field and that's it now I will change the HTTP request method to post and save everything now here we also need body for a post request because it is creating some resource so it needs a body and this is the body I will copy it from here and in my request there is a body data section here and I will paste this here so I have just added my body here now if you want to uh, give headers like content type application JSON and anything like that we always can use the header manager like this and then for authorization we can use the authorization manager and I will also move it up so let me move it here that's it so we now have the create user we also have the advanced section here so just in case you need some uh, more advanced properties or settings like if you want to set the timeout and embed resources from HTML files all these things you can do here if you want to set any proxy server information that also you can do here for now for us the basic setup is enough I will save and I will go to my results let me now move the number of threads back to one and I will clear all the result and run again and here you can see I have also got a result for create user if I see here this is the sampler result and I am getting here 201 response code 201 created and this is for successful creation of a resource on the server and then again I can see resource a request request body request headers response response body response headers and everything so this was a post now let us try with a put request this is a put request and this is for updating a resource and this is the URL I will copy the URL and here in my JMeter I will go to thread group do a right click add sampler HTTP request and I will rename this to update user and now I will just drag and drop it here and I have to give the URL here HTTPS will come here 
and here we have, will have only the server name and the rest of the path will come here like this so we have HTTPS in the protocol in the server name we have rqrs.in and in the path we have forward slash api forward slash users and forward slash 2 in the http request i will change this to put and then for put as well we need a body data so i will copy the body data or the message from here and add it here and that's it we do not require any authorization or any headers for this request so i will save and go to view results tree clear everything and run again and you can see we have got a update user and we have got response code 200 ok and if i go to the request i can see the request body so this was the request that went to the server this is the url and then this is the put data that went to the server and then in the response i can see the response body so in the response i get updated at this time so this is fine and the response headers so this was a put request let us now create a delete rest api request and we have a delete request here i will go here and open in a new tab to get the url i will get the complete url here and now on jmeter i will do a right click add http request and i will first rename this to delete user and i will move it up and then the same thing i have to give the server name here the protocol here and the path here and here it will be delete and for delete we do not need any body so that all is should be fine i will save go to my listener clear all the results and run again and here i have got a delete user request which is running fine i can see the sampler result and here i am getting the response code 204 which is for no content and this is fine for delete and then this is request request body request headers and then response response body and response headers are here so you can see all this here so this is running fine and we have done here step number six we have done save the test plan run and check the results so we have done all the get post put delete api request in jmeter now in the next session i will also show you how to run soap api request in jmeter and i will also show you how you can actually record a api request in jmeter so i hope this was very useful for you and i will meet you in the next session thank you for watching